Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another application tutorial. We're trying to create an Android app that does a, a list of presidents. So far, we've done some of these things already. We've got a list. What we're going to do now is we are going to create the ability to click an item and then edit that item in a second screen. So to make this happen, we are going to have to put a click listener on the items that are on the left side here. And then we're going to have to sense that we've edited an item instead of created a new one when we get to the right side. So there's going to be code on both ends of this arrow. So the first thing I need to do is go into the Recycler View Adapter. And <laughs> you thought you were done with that. However, we're still going to add some more. So the item that I'm looking at here is this Onbind View Holder. And we're going to be able to assign a click listener into here. However, we do need references to the uh, layout that is, uh, this is referring to. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here where I have the uh, My View Holder class. And I'm going to create a new variable called, uh, it's of type constraint layout. So I'm going to give this a name and call it uh, parent layout. So now for the parent layout, as you might recall, we, we did define that in the uh, layout. So let's go to item view. Oops, try that again. Item view dot find view by ID R dot and let's go to ID and let's see if there was something about layout. So this one line president layout. That's the guy. Okay, so we have a reference to the layout of our item. Okay, so now that we have the parent layout as part of our uh, view holder, let's come back up to the binding section here. All right, so the next thing I'm trying to do is add a click listener. So Let's go to the holder property that we just defined, uh, dot parent layout. And uh, we're going to choose set on click listener. And then of course, just like we do with buttons, we say parentheses new on click listener. So as you might recall, we use intents if we want to join one activity to another. So we're going to create a new intent. And the first item of the intent has to be the context, which has been passed into us as a parameter. So we'll just use context. And then we can also tell it where we're going, which is add or edit one. So that's, uh, that's part of it. Now then we need to start the activity. Okay, so I tried to do start activity, but it's got a problem here. And what's the problem? Uh, it says here you need to add a qualifier of context. Okay, if that's what you say, that's what it is. So we'll start a activity from the context. And then it says, which one do you want to do? Well, we've only got one intent. All right, so that will send us to the form, but it will not tell us how that form should be filled out because this is really an edit form now. We're going to tur turn it into an edit form. So we need to do something called put extras. So just before we start the activity, we're going to put extras. So the item that we want to send along to the other form is the ID number of the person that we clicked. So we're going to say, go to the president's list, get the position, and get the ID number for that person at that position. And we'll send it in an extras package. So when we get to the other end, we're going to have to get the extras out of that bundle and then maybe uh, display the contents of the president there. Okay, so this should work. Let's, uh, let's go back to the other uh, form now and we're going to intercept this item. So when we get to the uncreate method in the add or edit one, we can get the item that has been sent to us. So let's come down after we've defined all of these things and let's get the intent from uh, whatever may have been sent to us. Also, I'm going to create another uh, variable at the top and we'll call it an integer and we'll just call it ID. So this is the ID number of the person we're working with. So let's go back down to here and we're going to define ID equals the intent and we're going to say get the extras. So we're going to get an int extra of item called ID. Now, what's the problem here? It says well, we got we got a red line. It says it expected two arguments, and we only got one. Okay, so the the second argument is the default value. So I'm going to put a negative one. If if the intent doesn't provide any uh, value, then we're going to assume a negative number. So that means we can get to this form either in edit mode, which is where you get a positive number for the ID. Or if we don't get any positive number for the ID, then we assume that we were just told to create a new president and have a blank form. So this form serves two purposes, both create new president and edit the president. So I'm going to check on the ID value. If the ID value comes in as greater than zero, then we are going to assume we're editing the president. 
And if it comes in a negative one, then we'll have to create a new precedent. Uh, this is going to be wrong. Uh, greater than or equal to zero is more correct because our President Washington has value zero. So we better make sure that we include him. He is a valid president. Next, I want to loop through my presidents and find the one that we're after. So I'm going to use a for each loop. Well, really, for each loop doesn't exist in Java, but it does something like a for each loop. So it, it, does, it does give me type ahead predictability. So I'm going to say for each P, for each president P in the president list, we're going to do a test. So now we're going to use the value of the uh, ID to check to see if we can find a match. If somebody sent me ID 3, for instance, which would probably be, what, uh, I don't know, Lincoln or somebody, then we can uh, assume that our new president, this, this value called president, is actually equal to P. So this will assign a value if there's a match. So now we can assign all three values of the president's object to fill in the form. So the president's name, the president's date of election, and then the image URL all can be gathered from this uh, president object. So these should all fill in correctly if there's an ID number that matches. I want to check something else here. Uh, let's go back into the edit uh, layout. And you notice I created a text view at the top here. Let's go and choose the design mode. So this thing was called president ID number. And so this is what I had in mind when I created this. If we're doing an edit, we need to show the ID number up here of the president. So let's go back to our edit. And I don't even think I put that in my list of items that I cared about. So I'm going to make a new reference to this uh, object. So it's a text view. And we'll call it TV Prez ID. Now down in the list of things where I'm assigning values, I also have to do that. So let's do TV Prez ID. And we'll find it. So it's called president ID number. Let's use that. Okay, so now we can add that as one more item to be updated here. So let's do president ID number set text and it's going to be called the ID value that was passed to us. Hey, great. I think we've got ourselves the uh, president's uh, values that should be updated. Now, what do we do in the else statement? So in the else statement, it's we're going to create a new president. So we really don't have to do anything. I'll just kind of leave it blank. Now let's go down into the OK button. So the OK button is assuming that we're always creating a new president. Well, that's no longer the case. Now we have an edit form plus a create new form. So we're going to have to check on the ID number to see if that's already been assigned. So here's where our, our check comes in. We're going to say if the ID number is set to a number greater than or equal to zero, then we'll assume we're in update mode. If, we're, uh, if we don't have that, if it's a negative one, then we're going to have a new president. So let's see, I can take the code, which was for creating a new president, and uh, let's go and copy that out. Let's cut it out, actually. Control X and move it up. So there, now it fits inside the else statement. Okay, so how are we going to do the update? Well, the update is kind of like the new guy. We're going to update an existing president. So to make this happen, we're going to define a new president, and then we're going to replace the one that's in the list with the new guy. So to create this new president, I'm just going to go look at the data entry form and get the three strings that are there. So his name, his date, and the URL. Now, the middle one obviously doesn't work because it is an integer. We've seen this before. So we're going to do a interpretation. Okay, so we're going to have to have an integer.parseInt to make this happen. So now we have this updated president object. We just need to substitute the one that needs to be swapped out. Okay, so we defined a new president and then we are going to replace the one that belongs to his ID number. Okay, let's test this out, see how well it runs. All right, so let's uh, pick on John Adams. Let's see if we can update him. And it crashed. Okay, so we got a problem here. And let's go look at our log cat to find out why. So it says here, uh, line 51 is what caused the problem. And the president's date, we were trying to get this date of election. And silly me, I said that was a an integer. We have to change that to a string. So let's, uh, let's put that in there. Let's go to, what is it, string? 
dot value of integer. Okay, let's try that. Okay, try it again. And this is so picky. Okay, we're up and running again. Let's try John Adams again. And it crashed again. Okay, now what? It says uh, line 53 this time. What is line 53? It says you're trying to set the text with an ID. Oh my goodness, let's do a two string. My goodness, the same problem twice. Let's go ahead and run it this time. Maybe it'll work. Okay, cross my fingers. John Adams, here we go. And poof, there's John Adams. Now, we could uh, change his date or something. I'm going to change him to be 1700. That's obviously wrong, and click OK. And now you can see John Adams 1700 shows up. I better fix that. I What was that again? It was 17... Uh, was it 96 or something like that? I forget. My history is bad. There it is. We've got John Adams updated twice. So the next part here is to do sorting. So we're going to add a little menu at the top right corner that will allow us to sort the list in alphabetical order and in chronological order. So if you want to see how that works, stick around.